Excellent. Giggles, that's the first thing you get to hear from us. Welcome! It is the Young Adults at Heart book discussion, and this month we are discussing Red Queen, which is Crystal's pick. She is frozen in a very happy position right now. I'm kind of enjoying it. I hope that's happening for everybody else. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to introduce my co-conspirators. First... Uh, Mylena, wanted you to go first. Do it. <laughs> well, welcome from my bed in west on the west coast of California. Um, <laughs> my name is Mylene. I am a children's and well, this is going to be really awkward to say this because I'm in bed. I am a children's and teen librarian <laughs> from Santa Monica. Oh my God, I'm embarrassed now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Teen librarians need beds. We're allowed to sleep in them. I just snorted. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. And I'm sober. It's, totally so I'm, it's Sunday and I'm sober. All right. Carry on. Okay. Well, I'll go. Okay. I don't know how anyone tops that because I'm not in my bed. I'm a children and teen librarian on my porch um, in a small town in Connecticut. And Mylene, drink something. <laughs> okay. Cheers. <laughs> Yay! All right, I'm Crystal. Um, I am a 10th grade teacher as of recently because I was an 8th grade teacher and I'm going back to the high school level, so I'm a 10th grade teacher now Woohoo! Um, at a small uh, high school in Connecticut. Hello, I'm Abby. I am a children and teen programmer um, from Connecticut, currently on vacation in lovely Cape Cod. And I was just thinking, I was telling everyone else that it's been a year since we've been doing this. Since really? our first one when, was, was when I was in Cape Cod last year. So yay for us! Yay! Happy anniversary, friends! Happy anniversary. <laughs> yeah! Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> we were directed to drink mimosas, and I'm being a rebel by drinking a screwdriver because I can't prepare in advance. Um, <laughs> I'm Jennifer. <laughs> On that lovely lead-in. I'm Jennifer, and I am in the Midwest. I am, I was a teen and a teen librarian in a small branch in Indiana, and now I'm going to be a branch manager who also does teen things and teen programming um, in a different branch in the same system in Indiana. So it's very exciting. I don't know what's going to happen. We may have bigger delays between these book discussions because I will need to get my act together. <laughs> so um, I'd be more prepared. Haha. <laughs> okay. So um, general impressions. What do we do? We have general impressions about Victoria. Is it Aviard or Aviard? I don't know. Crystal should Victoria. go first. Victoria's book. This, yes, this was Crystal's pick. So, Crystal? All right. Um, and just as a reminder, in case anybody cares, the original reasoning behind picking this title uh, was that it was part of our uh, middle school summer reading initiative where there were teachers that were choosing books. Um, so this was actually chosen by a colleague of mine, Allison, who was originally supposed to be talking with us today, but she is visiting her Nana for a brunch, which is important. So... I guess I won't be that upset about it because it's important to visit Nana's. Um, but Actually for uh, so she actually chose this title. Um, I liked it, and I think I, judging from like Goodreads reviews and general vibes, I think I liked it probably more than some of y'all. Uh, although getting into it, I was feel I was like, okay, so this is like The Hunger Games. Oh, okay, so this is like, it had, and I, I understand that, like, that dystopian premise, I feel like a lot of, the, I don't read a lot of that genre, and I feel like because Hunger Games is the first of those that I read, maybe that's why I was getting that vibe, maybe it's just kind of true of the genre, um, but there were a lot of parallels that I was drawing between the two, where I was just like, oh, okay, but then it, it drew me in enough, and particularly toward the end, I wish it hadn't waited till the end for all of that, like, big action to happen, but it was setting up the next one, so, I don't know. I I enjoyed it. Any other general impressions? So, also, at the end of this, will you read the next book? 
Yes. 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 I think I, I think I want to. Um, I think I want to know what happens next. If my copy had been in, I would have read it already. And also, if I didn't have to read other things for class, I would have read it already. But I liked it. And you know what? I'm the only teen librarian you'll probably ever find who has not read The Hunger Games on purpose. Like, I haven't read it. Nope. And I'm not going to. I saw the first movie. It was fine. I had hence The Hunger Games. But it's like, I don't know. I feel like Hunger Games and Divergent slowly ruined my life. Like, it's like... It's like everybody's like, blah, 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 Hunger Games, Divergent. I'm like, look, because I do read a lot of dystopia. I'm like, look, world, there's a heck of a lot more to this genre than Hunger Games and Divergent. Like, there's a whole... But I think for it's, it's like Twilight, you know? So now any book you pick up that has a vampire in it, everybody's like, oh, my God, it's like Twilight. I'm like, no, it's not. Um, but I actually have no idea if this book has... Like, I can't... I don't know. I can't say anything to that. Um, but except for what I learned from the movie, and they spent a whole lot of time in the woods, trees. I don't know. It's, I'm sure the book has more action than that. Um, but I really liked it, and I really liked. It was actually I was actually really bored at first. Like the first couple chapters, I was like, "All right, woe is you. Your sister's better than you. Yada yada yada. Move on with yourself." I was really bored. Um, and I was like, "This is gonna be rough. This is a big book." But then, like. Once, like, the stuff started happening, I was like, okay, you know, like, the stuff, the, the hands and the stuff. Uh, I was like, all right, cool. And so, um, so I spent my whole time in the book, like, trying, like, I don't know, like, you, you have the feeling, we don't care about spoilers, right? I don't know. You have the feeling that, like, like, obviously the queen was, like, bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, they always are. Like, you rarely see, like, a not crappy queen. Like, that rarely happens. I'm, I'm um, sorry. Like, but that, like, the way that she wrote her, there was, like, straight up menacing music playing every time yeah, she, like, yep, entered the scene. There was, like, da 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 <laughs> And you were just, like, she's clearly the big bad. Can we pay a little more attention to her and her yeah. mind reading power? Like, yeah. how are you not... Anyway, sorry. How... No, no! That, like, that makes sense. She reminds Reminded me. She reminded me of. I'm watching my mimosa. She reminded me of like I can never say her name. Help me, world. Lavanya, Leviana, Marissa Meyer, Leviana. Rem- there we go. I'm glad someone else would go. I kept saying Lavanya, but I was sure that was wrong. Um, it was Lavana. Lavana. Oh, uh, I really like those books too. Um, but she she reminded me of her. I'm like clearly you're the problem here. But so then you have like you know your love square. It started off as a triangle, but then it turned into a square. Um, so <laughs> right. So you've got like friend from I reject from town. the Kalorn corner of that square. Let but, platonic friends be platonic friends. But, but you know what though? He, he have gotten any character development at all yes. beyond the fact that he has pretty green eyes and like wore a uniform pretty well. Like no, I would have no. liked any more development on his part. I didn't like, like him. He was an asshole. Because we've already decided that you shouldn't watch these at work. He was an asshole. E- like, every time he opened his mouth, he was saying something dumb. And I was like, I hate you. Like, shut up. Why don't you, you don't have any parents? Blah, blah, blah. And you, like, fell on her doorstep or something. Whatever it was. I was like, you're a jerk. Like, you're, like, you're, she did all this stuff. He's like, stop saving me. I would never say that. Come save me. Come get me. Like, wherever I am, friends. Um... So I didn't like him, and then you had now I forgot everyone's name because I read this a long time ago. Older brother, whatever, whoever he was, you had older Shame. brother. There, sh- no, Shay. Cal, there you go, Cal. You had Romantic older kid. brother. No, no, no. Oh, oh, I older see. Brother, Prince. Yeah. Yes. The Prince yeah. asked the older brother. Oh yeah. So blanket blanket statement. This is not a spoiler free zone. We really? do not exist to no spoiler free zone. Like, don't nope. maybe stop listening to this if you haven't read the book. Yeah. Well, I wasn't spoiling anything about him. I don't think he he was a jerk too. Like, I don't know. I didn't like him. And then you had like younger brother, and I was like, all right. I was like, I can feel your pain. Like, you clearly bonded with each other. Like, you know, like blah 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 blah. And then like all the action happens and all the stuff and the underground and this that and the other thing. And I was feeling it. But I will say. They, they got me. They got me. And I they, they the books don't get me very easily. Like, we all knew that the queen was going to be a problem. Problem, too. I was like, he like I, he's too passionate about his war times. Mm-hmm. I, he, but I, I was not prepared for younger brother, whose name I also can't remember. Um, 
they got me. They got me. And I and I'm and I'm I, I always give people snaps when they get me because it doesn't happen often. I didn't see any of that coming. Was, I'm a little was mad about it. Was anybody else surprised by that turn? Be surprised. You were surprised. I was okay, surprised, Abby was surprised, but I'm always surprised. I am never, um, I am never not surprised at the twists. <laughs> never. So. <laughs> I was. Told, yeah. Were you Crystal, surprised, were you Jen? Surprised? Mm-hmm. I menacing music. All that whole family. I was like, I was like, there's some, there's some like organ. Creepy music playing anytime anybody interacted with the sun and the evil queen, and I was just like, she's like a psychic, controlly evil queen. Like clearly, like, and I do think that maybe like her, like she is manipulating her son, and so it's not necessarily all coming from him. I think she's been she's been monkeying inside of his brain for so long, like since birth, because evil. But what is um, name? Maven. <laughs> Maven. Yeah. Maves, Maves did not surprise me. I was like, don't trust Maves. Maybe. Maybe this is very, very really? convenient. Really? That you didn't? But like, really? Because it got me. It really. And I was really upset. I was. I was heartbroken. Like I. Kim, I think that just means you're really like in it. I am. If you're reading it back here, you're like, oh, I see what's going on. But if you're like really in the book, then you're like. And then no, I'm was, always like, and then I'm like, wow. <laughs> I was I was invested in it, but I was invested in it because I was mad at every single decisions she made, <laughs> every single one. I was like, no, no, no. What do you know? Like I was like mad all the way through. I was just like hate reading her character really? the entire time. I'm trying to I'm trying oh. to remember the small okay. details. Hey, here's the thing with me. Is that I listened to it. I, this is the first book that I listened to for this book club. So um, when I listen to books, something happens, which is I get about three quarters of the way through, and then I have a day where I decide I want to listen to the radio in my car, <laughs> and then I put the radio back on, and then it takes me about like a full month before I go back to the audio book because I'm like, I really like listening to pop tunes on my commute. Why do I have to go back to listen to it? But anyway, I think I liked it better from the audiobook because the narrator sounded like Janet Varney, um, voice actress Janet Varney, who is um, who does Cora. Um, it's not her. She's a great voice voice actress. I don't have the CD with me. I think it was um, Amanda something. Um, I should look it up so I can be. Um, Jen's looking it up, so I'm just going to keep talking. Um, so uh, she sounded like Janet Varney, so I loved her a lot. And I think I read her a lot more lighthearted hearing it than if I had read it, like, written down. I would have been like, ugh, this girl is so overwrought. But the audiobook really had a lot of moments of, like, teen, like, sarcasm and stuff like that, which I appreciated. Um, but then, yeah, it, um, the other thing I realized while I was listening to this book is I am incapable of picturing battle scenes. <laughs> I didn't like the last Harry, the la the end of the last Harry Potter book. Mm -hmm. Everyone was like, "Oh, freaking out about it," and I'm like, "I have no idea what happened. I have no idea because it was a huge battle, and I can't follow it and I can't visualize it." So all of the world building that Kim thought was really boring was my favorite part, and the big battle scene at the end that everyone has been loving, I hate it because I can't see what was going on, and it just sounds really stupid, and it's like, I moved over here, and he was standing there to protect me, and then I, all of a sudden, am on the other side of what I'm picturing in my mind, doing some other crazy thing, and there's like five people, I can't keep track of it. Can, I don't can like you please it. write, can you please write a battle scene that is described like that, where like the character is just over being in a battle, and it's just like, you don't want to hear about this part, this part's boring. We, we battled, and we won. I just would rather, like, I need the outcome. I don't need to watch it. That's why I like action movies, because somebody has done all of the visual work for me. I don't have to imagine any of it. It's just there. Anyway, that's my. those are my general impressions. And everyone was pretty stupid, but also I was mad. I, I, I was glad that Cal was redeemed sort of in the end, because I did, um, of the la love triangle, I reject the killer in corner, because he was, like, platonic brother mode. Until, like, weirdly, they, like, tried to make him also in love with her. And I was like, no, boo. Um, uh, 
I, Cal was my favorite of the of the bros. Also the also the teacher guy reminded me of a math teacher I had in college. <laughs> but that was my other impression. I liked I'm him. Going I really him. literary on this one, guys. I wanted I wanted his story. I wanted to know about like the prequel with the 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 girl be like the sister dying the sister, and then the girl's yeah. tongue being cut out and him There's like I like him. I thought love story. I'm pretty sure you're gonna get that in like a prequel book number four or something. Yeah. Or but like I feel, but or I feel the like, second book. I know, but, but I feel like that's like an adult fantasy story that needs. It's that's not a young adult story. Do you know what I mean? Like this is really solidly young adult, I'd say. But like that one, I want like an. I want Patrick Rothfuss to write. No, I don't, because this is her story. Actually, I really liked her writing. Like, and I like I thought that like her descriptions were excellent, and like the pacing was a little wacky. But I, it's obviously like meant to be book one, book two, book three. So you're not getting you're not getting the pacing that you would like. It was written as like a full arc, not like. A book, and then another book, and then another book. Does that make sense? Oh, so yeah. the, the audiobook narrator, who I also listened to parts of it, was Amanda Dolan. D-O-L-A-N. It's Amanda. She was and she was, she was. She was. Yeah, she was awesome. She was a great narrator. Mm -hmm. So, and I liked her voices. I liked her voice for um the like the British accent that she did for the the leader of the rebellion. Like I loved that voice. <laughs> Farley. I, that I also wanted to follow Farley through the book. I was like her spy stuff's way more interesting than this nonsense. <laughs> have have any of you guys read the selection? No. I refuse to wear watch uh, re watch read or wear a book where someone <laughs> is uh, cuz I went through all those mimosa where someone's in a big ass dress on the cover. I just can't. Like I really like I know I know my inner judgy McJudgerton coming out, but I you in that fucking dress, the selection. Once well, there's another one, it's the same it's the same picture, only the dress is like champagne color. I don't the jewel I don't ever, no, I won't do it. Which ones are those? Those aren't the like circle ones, are they? No. That's know. that's matched, isn't it? Where she's in like the bubble and then yeah. she's yeah. in the bubble. Can you see the dress on yeah. that too? Match is supposed to be super good, though. No, it's not. Don't waste your time. No <laughs> offense. The first book is okay. The second book was, like, sort of okay, but then somewhere around, like, page 100. You oh, I like, recognize yeah. the collection. They do have big-ass dresses on. They do. But see, and I, so I think maybe that did it. The first book was okay, but, like, very stereotypical. It's like, all right, like, woe is you. Get your shit together. The second oh, book was, was super boring. The third book was worse. I have not met yeah. a single third book. In it was life. optioned Never. and then dropped by the CW. I would have watched that show probably. No. Yeah. About are you talking about Matched or the Selection? The Selection. Abby? The Selection. Oh, the Selection. I think Kim's talking about Matched. Oh. I was. I haven't read the Selection because she's got a big poof blue dress on, and I don't want. The, the Selection is kind of like the manipulating, like in the capital parts of the Hunger Games plus the Bachelor. Like that's that's yep. what the Selection is. That's what it sounds like. Which, which is not bad. Like I think there's actually more. There's I like there's female friendships in that, and I really like female friendships. And you I thought that this book completely. She has no lady friends, and all of the girls other than her were so mean and like so. Ugh, I was livid. I was like, one of these girls can't be friends with her, and like the one who's like a servant, she like kind of is right, and then she gets killed. Actually, you like then don't see her for like. 200 pages and then she gets killed. Well, it's supposed to be this like super impactful death and you're just like, all right, like, okay, yeah, it's sad because it's like human life and this is very upsetting, but not because you like the character. Yeah. Like, well, you know what? I think, who's that lady with the scar on her face? The like, the, the fighting lady? Farley. Who's the one who's like, yeah, I, whoever, you know, I'm bad at, I don't remember, correct, called Crystal Caitlin. So, um, like, <laughs> I was like, for, for like a, like six months, she's like, what's my name? And I was like, Caitlin, I don't know, go away. Um, so, <laughs> that's how that works. But I don't like name tests. But I thought that, that the Farley would, I thought that they would, like, you know, and, like, go, because here's the deal, like, and I think may, maybe I read the book the way the, like, in my mind, the way the audiobook reader, the audiobook reader was saying it, because, like, I wasn't super mad about a lot of her decisions, because, like, I'm like, this is a rebellion. This is war. Like, they're fucking up. They killed her brother. Hashtag sort of. Um, so like I wasn't, I wasn't. Su I was really upset about that. Uh, I was like, you have been dead since chapter six. Um, so um, I. <laughs> sorry. 
I don't know. And then he's like, I'm here. Um, like, I, like, in my, she, she was dumb. She was dumb. But I think the thing was, like, I justified it. It's like working with teenagers. It's like, you're dumb, but you're 14. Like, how mad can I be about it? As opposed to, like, you're dumb and you're 29. Well, Get and I was trying together. to be, like, I was trying to be, like, she's, 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 like, illiterate at the beginning of the book. Like, she doesn't yeah. read anything. Can't do shit. Like, she obviously, like, she she's ill-equipped to deal with a lot of this intrigue because she hasn't even read a book where there's intrigue. So she's just, like, used to stealing stuff. Like, and so I was trying to, like, lowball that. But I was, like, menacing music. Do not, like, do not like, think about spoons and potatoes around this queen. You cannot. Like, she knows. Like, she knows. Get. Go. Leave. Like, No. I was so, I was just like, no, please get out, please get out, like, the whole time. Yep. Now, see, I thought that it was, and yes, she was, she was thinking a lot of stuff around the queen, and I was like, you're just gonna die. Like, but the thing is, like, I thought that it was, like, Cal on her side. Like, I thought he was trying to, like, swoon her, you know what I'm saying? Like, whereas, like, I don't know, I don't know, like, when they would, like, dance in the hall at night, I was like, mm, you're up to no good, good sir. You know, as opposed to, like, Maven, who's just like, I want to join the rebellion me because up. everyone wants to fight, and I think it's really bad, there's got to be another way, there's got to be another way, and I was like, yeah, Maven! So that's why I was really upset. Well, I thought, so, Mylene, do you have general thoughts? What Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you, did will it? you? I, uh, <laughs> I enjoy everyone talking, so I'm just like, oh yeah, agree, agree, agree. Um, the comments that I have in addition to this, so the whole time towards the, the middle and then towards I'm like, how the F did Kalorn even get to a position of power, ever, in this stupid, like, shadow group thingy? I was like, you secretly couldn't even save your own life. She's been saving your life this whole time, and yet you are on the right hand of this woman who is the leader of this group. I don't understand that. The the Maven part totally ruined me. I was like, oh, I didn't see that. Oh, I did it. You jerk. So I also listened to the audiobook, and the way she describes, or the way she portrays him, he is, like, the better choice, you know? Cal is, like, the beefcake, and he has war in mind, like, and he's always had the responsibility of the older brother. But it's almost as, like, as if she... Cal, Cal is the beefcake is my new favorite thing. I'm sorry. I just needed to... <laughs> Cal is the beefcake. Because that is the perfect description of that character, and I love you. Continue. <laughs> well, so the... the um, Abby, going towards your not being able to visualize, I can hyper-visualize any kind of the scenes. So when they're first doing the testing for the... I'm calling it the testing, but it's not like the... The, the, print, the queen's... Right, right. What, what is it the, called? The, the Queen's Trial, right? Queen's Trial, yeah. So I was like, okay, so these families just breed fairies. Every fairy has a skill, and the last skill, she's Magneto. What the fuck? <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so I was thinking, okay, clearly there's no way Magneto's not going to win, because Magneto always wins, and Magneto's always, you know, the person that, like, you care for him, but you don't because he's evil. Um... So the part where she falls into the, the net and then she discovers her powers because she doesn't burn, I was like, oh, God, it's going to be one of those. But I loved it because it's like X-Men, and I fuck, I freaking fangirl over X-Men anytime. I was like, okay, I love that you're called a ma Magnetron. It sounds like you would have, like, a, I don't know, a booming voice. So even though the queen had, like, the menacing thing behind her, every time the Magnetron came in, I was like, <sighs> like a scraping metal. I don't know, I heard that, scraping metal. Um, so I enjoyed this, the fight. I enjoyed the training portion because I'm imagining this like <laughs> this like high school gym where like every fairy X Man is like training against each other. I love that part. Uh, are you dying? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the fairy X Man. Like I can't, like I because I fangirl over X Man. That's Kim's aesthetic. Part. I was a fan. Oh my god! I binge watched all the old X Men cartoons from beginning. I to love X Men. Yeah, but the very X Men, I can't. I can't watch past it. I'm also, I'm also now like picturing that really bratty teenage Magnetron as Ian McKellen. Like, <laughs> like in like the like, and him being like, he's mine. And just, like, I really did like how they blended the like. Um, low tech kind of like I don't, it's not like steampunky but like vaguely historic and then like them having right. electricity but it's like with electricity papers and like there's like a whole village of people making like electronics and stuff for them um, I thought that was really 
kind of an interesting blend because usually you have kind of one or the other. It's like super futuristic or like, oh, it's we're in old times, but there's magic. And this kind of like blended right. them in a really interesting way. Well, because it was like, yeah, it was like super feudal and, well, which I think actually, I think I think it was kind of interesting commentary on like current events and current world conditions for people that are yeah, producing. Yeah, totally went there. Which I really appreciated that they were like, although I mean, I'm not to be like that guy, but is was were all of the main characters in this book white again? Like not to, like yes. all of them? They seemed all white to me. They were all white, trust Thank me. You, Thank I can you. spot, I can spot diversity. And I wasn't life. picturing well, her as white until they like way later on described her too. And then I was like, well, no, wait. Or maybe I'm thinking of another book that I'm reading currently. Well, Never mind, they? sorry. Aren't they literally like angels or something? Because in the beginning, when they talked about um, go gods and or not demons, um, humans and angels and the heavens coming down, I visual I envisioned angels like actual, you know, flying beings, whatever. And and they described them as like super opaque. So like her makeup being all super white. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think they're white. I don't know. Um, no, there were there were there were there were super power like the silver bloods. There were silver yeah. bloods that were not white. Like they were they were secondary characters though. They were like described as like some of the different oh, okay. families had different looks to them. And I was like, but none like they still okay. often white. Like I mean, you might have been like <laughs> tan, but like you mean tan is in like you sat on the beach for twenty minutes. Like don't say mocha, you know, or like I don't know whatever, they come up with all these weird coffee colors. And I'm like, I put more cream in my coffee than you. Who's coffee? My coffee or your coffee? Um, so, but, like, when they, because, like, what's his face? Killorn or whatever, and his green eyes. So you're like, there, that's done. And then, like, her, like, when she would blush, she would turn red. I'm like, oh, well, then you're white. You know, and then, like, and they powder the makeup on her face. Like, I, all of them. They all wear. I, I find these things. You found them to be white. That's, that's <laughs> what, what was it? White white X Men white white X Men fairy. Fairy X Men. <laughs> fairy X Men. Um, can we talk a little bit about how the title is a spoiler? Because as soon as you find out that the power dynamic is silver blood and red blood, you're like, well, cool. this bitch is gonna be queen at some point. When is that gonna happen? And but like it didn't kind of happen like, in this for one. it, waiting for it. No, but you knew that she was gonna get like in with the like royal family, or that there was gonna be some kind of revolution. I'm like, as soon as you find out that that's like the power structure, yeah, um, I was like, oh, so I guess that's what we're aiming for. Or Where normally I would never have gotten there on my own because I just like to be taken along for the ride. <laughs> or in theory, um. I don't know. I, it also could have been that this is a, a well, I guess so as soon as you find out that it's a king that's in charge, like top in charge and not the queen, because I immediately thought, based on the cover, that it was a this now ruling family that's going to be responsible for spilling all of this red blood. So as you hear about, like, the war and all of that, I'm like, okay, that well, that makes sense to me, like, you have this queen who's sitting on her throne and doesn't have anything to do with it, and then there's all this blood that's be all this red blood that's being spilled. And so I kind of made that association first. But you're right; like essentially, as soon as her powers are revealed, you're like, oh wait a second, no. But well, see, I I kind of thought that for I mean maybe for a second, like I re I think I was thinking more along like the you're gonna spill all this red blood level, and then you know then you, you're like okay like so then. Somehow I knew that she was going to wind up with one of the princes. I don't I don't know why. Or maybe just when they said it, you know, like when they said they well, were going to have to bring her in. But she wound up with the younger prince, the one who's so it's like you're not going to be queen because, like, there's some – she's going to be queen. Magneto's going to be queen. That should have been your tip-off that the younger brother was up to no good. It was not. He that the was the tip-off. He joined the rebellion. He didn't want to fight. Guys. <laughs> this is my mimosa. Um, I do love that trope of, like, the prince, like, sneaking out and being among the commoners. Like, I'm really here for that. <laughs> did you, did you all, like, as soon as, as soon as she, like, as soon as she ran into him, though, I was like, well, clearly you're a noble. Like, I didn't go straight for prince, but I was like, well, this is a noble in disguise. Oh, no, because me too. Yeah, so clean. Into it. <laughs> yeah, no. I do feel, and, sorry. I was just trying to remember characters we haven't talked about, and I did feel really bad for her sister. No. 
Her her whole family, like, I felt like they spent a lot of time building up the family in the beginning of the book, and then you didn't get to see them for the rest of the the book. No worries. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, Shade will be there, but they're always with her on her ears. I like that detail. (laughs) And actually, that was one of my favorite parts of the character, where, like, he gives, like, she gets... Was it? What's his name? Gives her the green earring, and she's like, man, just like pierces her ear. I was like, <gasps> like, like <laughs> all this violence. People are being like ripped to shreds, and I'm like, she pierced her own ear. Like, can we take one second? And and so Jen, there was a part where I was reading this, and I was thinking about you, and I was I was upset. And this is the beginning of the book when I was like, I'll never like this, which obviously I was wrong. Like I admit that at times I'm wrong. So. So these people, I'm making more mimosa. These people, they have these powers, right? And we've given them names. Uh, as soon as they started saying what the names of these people were, I was like, oh, hell. Like, I'll never get into this. But strong arms have strong arms. And I was like, I can't. I can't. Because, like, then I, then I think about things like, because there are, like, ways. Like, if you're a good enough writer, you can have these weird freaking names, you know, and, like, we're going to follow you. Like, I might need the glossary, but, like, I'm going to follow you. Like, and it, like, that that really, it kept taking me out of the story. And I know that's, like, a personal thing because I was, like, these names are really silly and, like, I don't understand. Because then I think about, like, the Black Jewels. They all had weird freaking name. Like, I couldn't pronounce a gosh darn name in those books, but I knew what was going, you know, I knew. I knew because, like, you did a good enough job. But, like, and so, like, every time they mentioned the name of, like, a Magna whatever or a strong arm or a brain controller, whatever the heck those names were, it was, like, we couldn't... We couldn't have done a little better than I this. Like we couldn't. Them. <laughs> I can follow because I don't read stories like this. I can follow, and also I kind of think it like ups the camp factor of it, and I I it also does. like that. It does, and the thing is, like normally I can't follow. Like my general rule of thumb is, if there's a glossary and a map, I'm not gonna read it because I, I'm like clearly did, you did also you guys... know this is hard. Did you see the post that was floating around on one of the librarian? Facebook things where it was like this is the best way to handle a map ever where the map yeah. where the map isn't in the back of the book it folds out so you can have it out while you're reading the book like it's blank yeah on the inside part of the page like oh hello that's her face um <laughs> it's blank on the inside like this is blank and then it folds out and the map doesn't keep going on the side it's just out here so you can like have it out and look at it while you're reading and I was like that's a good way to get those pages ripped but I like it <laughs> the, map makers, the Map Maker series right now, and there are three maps at the beginning of each book so far. You see what I'm saying? Like, then I immediately know, like, this book is too much for me. I can't, I can't follow you. Like, there's a glossary, a map, there's an index. Like, this is too much. This is not an encyclopedia. We don't need all this. We're just typically going to walk away from a book. But you have books that are, like, written well enough that the average Joe can follow you. Like, I might not be able so to pronounce your you made-up word. Me? Because I, because I was like, Jen would understand. I, like, I just, I just felt like you would get it. And I was like, Jen knows. She threw black tea at like me. She knows. What were the, what were the, was it the water, the water controllers were called nymphs, though? Yeah. And I was like, I feel like, I feel like some dude, like the first round of dude nymphs was not happy about that. Like to be like, <laughs> yep, that's our power. We're like, like. Like traditionally, like long-haired, pretty ladies. Like that's what we are. That's yeah, our plan. Yeah. That was like good for you. I, I'm just trying to like find. I like the that could grow things. Oh yeah. Is that the green? Were they green thumbs? Green Is thumbs. That that I was? like that they were never in the arena because they're like, what are they gonna do with the arena? That's why I like they... them. Hey, poison ivy was no joke, dude. Like there are things you can do with growy stuff. And one yeah. of the one of the peculiars in uh, Miss Peregrine could grow stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the ones that that couldn't fight were um, the one that she speared in the gut with that guy's strong arm thingy. Um, those are the ones who couldn't fight in the arena because they could just kill your powers and be like, Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm going to kill you now. Yeah. That was awesome though. That was well played. Like she's really, like, I'm gonna throw he was also. I liked that you couldn't read him. Like you're like. Is he who is he working for? He was very like exactly. neutral until the end. I liked that. Going back on Kim and your name, the names. Um, <laughs> the first time I started reading the names, I was like, are all these families Greek? <laughs> 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 I 
What was, it, what was her name? Post something. apocalyptic, the only Post people that survived. And I was like, only the Greeks have survived. The no. it, or 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 like lots of people survived, and the only thing that sur that survived the fallout was like one like introduction to the gods and goddesses and myths of ancient Greece. <laughs> like that's the only section of like the like the middle school library that survived. <laughs> it's just it like Percy Jackson. A one yeah. copy of Percy Jackson. Post Percy Jackson. I don't know. That threw me off. Yeah. And was was anyone? How did everyone feel about Shade's return? Was anyone mad? I didn't know how I felt. I was a little mad, but like not really. I just well, I want to know how his name was spelled because I listened to the audiobook. I, it's spelled Shade like. Yes. I'm like throwing you. H A D E. <laughs> yeah. Was it? I, I liked the. I thought that they should have held off on that until the next book. Like, I wanted, I, I like, I, it was too much for me at that point. So much stuff was happening at the end of the book, even with, like, me anticipating betra big betrayals and, like, people switching back and forth with, like, because there was, there was the battle to kind of escape and then the arena and then the arena battle escape and then, like, they're being grabbed and, like, shoot, like, shoot away into the fallout zone. And just to have, like, him tacked on at the end there, I was like, eh. Like, I felt like, I felt like they, that was, either, it either needed to happen earlier in the book for me to have, like, the impact, or I wish they would waited until the next book for that. Because I, like, I wanted to be more invested than I was. Mm -hmm. I'm not a book, I'm more like Abby, where I'm usually pretty along for the ride, and I'm not a... Uh, I don't make, like, super predictions, or sometimes I do, and I'm not often right. Um, but that was one that I, and I don't know, I don't know that it was ever alluded to or that anything was happening, but I just had a feeling that he wasn't really dead. Like, that was, I, I don't know, I, there, I just didn't think that he was. So, like, I was just like, oh, okay, yeah, and it's him. Like, okay. But, like, that was not a surprise to me at all. That wasn't, I don't know, I just, I saw that one coming, and I don't usually see things coming, so... Me too. <laughs> you guys were just like, "Yay!" And he is alive. I was I right. I was just kind of waiting. I was like, "Where's this brother that she keeps talking about? He's not really dead." Um, like, doesn't? And then I'm hoping. Like, like, I'm hoping that the other people with the it is a mutation too. We're leaning heavily into <laughs> X Men territory. I'm hoping that the other people with this mutation, if he's not dead, then they're all not really dead too, and they can form these, like, feudal X-Men and, like, <laughs> Well, I forget the name of the X-Men who is Magneto's son, P.S., but he's the one who goes, like, who, who goes really fast. Quicksilver! Quicksilver! Yeah. So when, she, when she's like, oh, he, he can go really quick, I'm like, so your brother's Quicksilver. I thought, it's okay. I thought he was, I thought out he loud. was teleporting, not being fast. He was, was, he go, was he being fast? They, he does say at one point, like, they try and catch me, but I they're thought, quick enough or something. Like, there was, like, a real, like, but they can, they're oh, never fast he enough. Really quick about the vibe. Okay, so he's, yeah, like, he, so he's Nightcrawler. Still an X-Men! <laughs> Go! <laughs> yeah, I'm going to agree with you, Jen, though, as far as Shane's concerned. Like, I'm glad he's not dead. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, yay, that's cool. But... It was too much. Like, it was too much. It's like, okay, there was, like, you had, like, the, the jailbreak before that, and then you're, like, worried about her blood, and then there's first fight, and then capture, and then people getting their heads cut off, and then and second fight, like, and then capture, and then shade, which is my first thought was, dude, you've been dead since chapter six. Like, that was literally my first thought, and I could think of nothing else. I was upset. I, I'm, I mean, I'm happy for her, but I was annoyed. I like that he showed up at the end, because, oh, sorry. Oh, no, I was going to say, I like that he showed up in the end because otherwise it would have ended, like, the first book of any of the other books. Like, oh, wh you know, doom and gloom. And this, in this scenario, it's like, oh, no, something positive happened, and they're going to see their family soon. Awesome. It isn't just like a, I, I passed out, and I didn't know where I was. Like, all of them effing end like that. I passed out. I didn't know where I was. Book two. I was up. Still don't know where I am, but I'm alive. <laughs> So she goes out and she wakes up at least in the arms of her brother who's not dead. And then I like how it continues like the she feels for Cal because his whole family has betrayed him. <laughs> and um, he's still alive. What's going to happen to this poor kid, you know? 
I'm a terrible Super. person. I'm no, I'm also Team Cal. By the way, I just I don't I don't know. No one's surprised. Stand. No one's surprised. Uh, by no. by by the fact that Crystal is into the beefcake, that she <laughs> <a> healthy cake. <laughs> He was, he was like, the description for her, I, I also, she, like, whiffled a lot where she was all like, oh, but we kiss, but I hate you. And I was like, oh, friend. Like, friend. That got to be a little much. But I it did. did love it. <laughs> but I did love it. But I did. Uh, yeah, that was obnoxious. I don't know. I uh, I just can't. And like, oh, and so I think I think maybe the whole ending. I don't know. Maybe they should have ended like just like running for their lives or something. Cause so like, Brother Shade shows up, and you're like, all right, you haven't been dead since chapter six. And then you've got Cal sitting there with his hands wrapped in rope. Okay, rope. Like they all know what he does, and they didn't take off his bracelet. No, we'll be taking that, friends. Like if they did, (laughs) right? If they did, they didn't put that in there. So like you've wrapped him in rope. He's sitting like I don't know. She's like, well, and Brother Shane is like, dude. Dude, not Team Cow. Not I'm team I'm team sad, nerdy younger brother all the way. Like even though he's I, evil. Can I, I tell you what it reminded me of? <laughs> and I I thought of you it reminded me of Bones when the guy that you loved in Bones turned evil. Oh my god. I'm so mad. I still haven't watched Spoilers for that Bones. Yet. I have not well they don't know who I love. I have not watched past that episode. Like I well I know. <laughs> you know, like I know that it wasn't that bad. But, like, I mean, I was committed, and I was watching, and then I was like, no! But then he's like, but I didn't really, I'm like, but I can't have anything to do with the phone anymore. It was the screensaver on my computer. This is another spoiler thing, because this might be for real for Jen. Spoilers for Angel. Oh, take your headphones off. Take, okay. Um, it should have ended at this point. At this point, I do know. I really? It's fine. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. Um, um, it should have ended like Angel, where the, it's like the five of them and like, like the apocalypse in front of them, and that's how the series ends. But for this end of this book, it should have been like her and Cal in the arena with like all of them, and then for my sake, it should have picked up the next book like we won. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. It would have been a spot at all knowing if they won or not. You would have been like, okay, I have to pick up this I book because. I read the next one. I'm probably not going to read the next one. Oh, I'll well, read the no. wiki or something. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes. It goes back to. Um, so I really do think that Allison chose this because there were a fair amount of middle schoolers reading it already. And the nice thing, and I'm sure for all of you too, is that if you can get a kid hooked on a series, you have given them a couple of books to read, right? So if kids read this one over the summer as part of their summer reading and liked it, they might be more inclined to pick up the next one, which is always a nice kind of ripple effect if you're looking to try and get kids to read, right? Well, um so and also, I, also, this is a good starter book for dystopian fic. Like, if, if you're, if this is like really, if you're really into this, then you can recommend the Hunger Games and Divergent and the Selection, and like, it, it's good. Like, I, yeah. Why does no one ever say "Shatter Me" by Tahara Mafi? Because it's really good. But Shatter Me's really good. I went to try and check out the next one at the library, and it was everything is checked out at the New Milford Library. And so I was like, that, that's a good thing, too. That means that there are people, there are kids that are reading this book. So that made me kind of happy and frustrated because I wanted to read the next one, and it wasn't there. But, you know, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> well, the, the part where she's, um, I remember, okay, I'm listening to the audiobook and I'm in the car. The part where Cal and is, you know, I'm going to teach you how to dance because it's going to save my brother, blah, blah, blah. And so when he goes in for the kiss, I'm like, no, you... MF are like, <laughs> this is exactly why this book is wrong, because, yeah, patriarchal society. But then she doesn't have any power here. Like, she's just like, oh, oh, okay, you're doing me a favor. I, I feel for you, kind of, but I'm betrothed to your brother, and you're still going to do it. Like, I don't understand. What is that teaching people? You know, like, if middle school kids are reading this, like, oh, it's clearly okay because he's doing it because he loves her. No, oh. that's just not how that works. Um, yeah, I was just like, I don't understand, but 
I, I never recommend Hunger Games to anybody, first of all. <laughs> um, and no child in Santa Monica's be like, yeah, that librarian told me to come. I'm like, no, don't read Hunger Games. That's just a t- that's terrible. Um, but yeah, no, I agree. This is a good one as a, as a starter for that that type of book, just because there really is there's more to it in popular culture and talking about current current day things than things that are so far removed from what they can understand. You know, it's like everybody can under well everyone who's not a, an only child can understand how terrible it is to be a sibling sometimes, and everybody can understand like their boy next door kind of like crush. Or girl mixer right. kind of crush. And everybody it. has that desire to be like a princess one day. <clears throat> and everyone has a desire like me to be an X Man. Oh my god, it's the best book ever. Yes. Screw that I princess BS. I want it to be rogue. Okay, sorry. <laughs> to never know human touch? It's fine. Kim. It's Kim. Fine. Kim. I could touch them. They would just collapse she for ate a Ms. couple Marvel. days. She ate her. Captain Marvel got it. That's who Rogue's like flying powers comes from. And I know. Now she's not doing that. I don't know how they're dealing that with that. Episode other time. already. So I. Know. Are we talking about comic books now? Can I express my distaste for Anna Kendrick as Squirrel Girl? <laughs> <gasps> Wait. Uh, rewind. Is that Anna confirmed? Kendrick's gonna be Squirrel Girl. She put it out there, and then somebody else at Marvel was like, "Yeah, that's not such a bad idea." Yes, it is. No, yes, Crystal, is. I do not X Men. I mean, I watch the movies, but I don't. I'm not into it as much. But Squirrel Girl is like perfect. Squirrel Girl Squirrel is. Squirrel Girl is perfect. I just was gonna take this opportunity when you brought up also Captain Marvel and the extended universe that I was like, oh, I'm just gonna say that um I don't I don't approve. I think it should be somebody else. Crystal. Anybody Stahl. else. She's a little too old, but it's in tall. That's fair. That's I think that's fair. Anna Kendrick is Squirrel Girl. I can't move past this now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really stuck here. Abby, you've derailed the whole book discussion. <laughs> okay, I'll come up with a Red Queen specific question. Actually, it looks like Crystal had something to say. Oh, never mind. She didn't. I I read that wrong. Um, how did we like? How did we? Oh, was there a map in the book? No. I was trying to figure out if they were um layered over our our current uh, geography because there was that whole thing where he pretends to be um a fisherman and she the audiobook the narrator. Accent, the, the accent. accent. The accent. It was so hilarious. I was driving in my car, cracking up. So it's like, yeah, he's like, oh, he doesn't have R's. And, like, then she just starts talking as Cal, and Cal doing a Boston accent. Of course I'm team Cal, guys. The most New England thing ever. Yeah, I, yeah, I absolutely, as soon as she did, I listened to the audiobook for that part, and I was like, ah, ah, ah. Confirmed. Headcanon confirmed. It's Massachusetts. Yeah, I, and I do think it is layered over our geography, and I think they allude to that when she's in her lessons, and he, like, I don't think that they, as a society, use maps, because I think that they want them to feel very isolated from one another, um, so it was, I, I, and I only remember this vaguely, so if somebody remembers it better, then talk about it, but um, when they were in the lessons, it was, you know, do you know where we are right now? kind of thing, and she was able to identify it on a map. He's like, oh, good, very good. You know what I mean? So uh, I do think I got the vibe from that, that these were the old, tiny maps of the world as it was, a.k.a. now. Um, and so it was, it maintained our current geography. That's what I thought, at least. Although okay. I, I, had, I had trouble pinpointing <coughs> where the wasteland was then, though. Like, whether it was like, what, where, like, yeah, I would have loved a map. Like, even if it was the old-timey map, but, like, I really wanted a new one. It's hard because I'm reading the Map Maker series at the same time as this. Like, I read the first one right before I read this, and now I'm reading the second one. And in that one, they keep alluding to, um, like, a freezing over of, like, starting in, like, Latin America and stuff like that upward. So I guess I wasn't really picturing any kind of map, but if you were to layer over the geography of it, it depends on where they are. If they're in the States, then it seems like the wastelands would be, like, South America, maybe, like, Panama, like that area, like, they're, in the middle of the world. They're getting to it by a train, though, like, even, like, with, like, a bullet train, like, thinking oh, that it's... Oh, that's true. Like, so I thought it was New Jersey. I know, because I've been reading these at the same time, and, like, they're just coalescing in my head. 
Did you just make a New Jersey joke? Did you just make a Hamilton joke? Is that what just happened? Hamilton. Wait, yeah, didn't am I talk over your New Jersey joke? Am I? Someone correct me because this might not have been maps. It might have been words in general. But the teacher guy, whose story I'm sure we will get more details to in the second book, okay, didn't he okay. say maps lie or words lie? Like something lied. Like something everybody that can be by everybody. everybody right? Lies. Yeah, but he like I think he said something specific about the maps because like when she was trying to figure out where she was, she was looking for certain things that she couldn't find. And, like, then they had that whole thing where they went to that place that was supposed to be full of, like, radioactive air, and it wasn't. Like, it was, like, so, and I feel like she, but I can't remember Kim, do you think that like, he knew? Like, do you think he about knew what? about the radioactivity then? About the radioactivity? But I think I he just knew thought more about, about that for that. He, oh, I, I think, I think the yeah, I don't know if he knew specifically about the radioactivity, but I think I think he knew a lot about the rebellion, and like so maybe he because like don't they get through? I don't remember. Like oh, the, like the underground tunnels or something like that. Like those aren't on map. Like no one knows that those are there. So if you're just looking at this map, it's not there because you don't see it. So like I think he knew at least about that. Um, I don't know if he knew about I'm the thinking. radioactivity. Because it's like it's set in like a post-apocalypse version, like where the apocalypse of our world, like it's an extrapolated version of our world, but it's a future version of our world where the end comes. I think, like there's, I think that there's, like maybe they are bullet trains, like they're between cities and stuff, because it seemed like they were. It wasn't just moving from one piece of a city to another, and it wasn't like a metro north kind of commuter train. Do you know what I mean? Like it felt like it was more like. Like, there were underground subways leading between big cities that yeah. we were not, that don't okay. exist yet for us. I have a question about a, a scene where, so before they even get to the, the train part to get to that place with the uh, toxic air, I cracked up when that old man comes out of the sky, is like, uh, from the ceiling in the theater going, follow me. And I, I just thought, how did you get there? And then how did they get out of the theater without all of her detail not knowing where she was? What yep. the f? I didn't understand that. And they were gone for like a day. There were a <laughs> lot of there were a lot of people like really bad at their jobs in this. Yep. Like there was a lot of incompetence on like the bureaucratic level that I was not. I was like, this guard detail guarding these like intense like prisoners of like terrorist prisoners. Like this guard detail was crap. Like they were all like, oh yeah, we'll totally send people down one at a time. Like, that was. Um, the the theater part was the part where I decided that I wanted to listen to the radio for a little bit and then never reviewed the <laughs> and didn't revisit the CDs until I was driving up here for vacation. Um, there were moments like that where you're like, I just gotta suspend my just I just gotta know that this is what's happening right now and it's fine and like it, it works in the context of this and I'm just gonna believe it because I know I need to believe it. But it's funny though, Kim, because when I was teaching and I'm going back to the the point, one of the very first lessons that I taught when I was teaching AP Human Geography is that all maps lie, because all maps do lie, to, to a certain extent in, in real life, because if you're looking at any kind of projection or any kind of map that is made by human hands, you're trying to take a round object and, and put it onto a flat surface, and so all maps lie in some... And so I was like, that was literally my first geography lesson. So I'm, I'm smart like this gentleman in this book. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, but ex exactly like you, Crystal. I when they jumped through that ceiling, which I was trying to figure out how they did in the first place. I was like, all right, look, like I, I think I like put the book down and I like looked the up training. at my ceiling the and training. I was like, Kim, they've been no, training. No, no, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> so I'm like looking at my ceiling and I might have like did a little jump but I was like that's not how that goes. Like, <laughs> it was, it, and it also wasn't like ceil like like pop out ceiling tiles like in your school or your library. This is like a theater box. Like I don't yeah. understand like the acoustics if you have it like that would be garbage. Oh, it was very well, right. And very then I'm thinking like even if they did magically get up there you know like levitate themselves up there like charm style fine. But like you made a lot, you know, like the one, so, but then I'm like, they're like, 
four dudes behind a curtain. Like, it wasn't even a door, if I'm not mistaken. Like, they, because, like, they got the guards to stop watching, because Maven's like, let's pretend to make out. And she's like, okay. And so they're, he's like, give us some time. And they're like, okay. So they close the curtain. But, like, I'm like, how did nobody hear this? Like, how, like. Exactly. Like, yeah, like, someone had to have heard you scurrying through the roof like I can't and then like so while they were gone to the radio I'm thinking the whole time I'm like what time is it what time is it how long have they been gone what time is it 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 has to have been like it has to have been two hours how long was this fucking play like I mean like the whole but then I had to how long was this play (laughs) that's why I like I said that's where I stopped and I picked it back up and I actually like backtracked like two tracks just to get myself back into it because I was like are they still on the train? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, but I did. I did have to just decide, like, I'm going to let you have this one, Victoria. I'm going to give it to you. Don't do it again. Like, you know, like, not this blatantly ridiculous. So I think this has been optioned, hasn't it? Like, if there is somebody's going to make this into... Because I think she, the author, great. writes screenplays. Like, she she oh, writes ooh. for... So that's that was my... I feel like it has been optioned. I had a friend who did not like it who was complaining about that. Well, so, really? it's a battle scene at the end. I like it. I want to so know. You can finally <laughs> discover what happens, Abby. You'll be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look it up. Because there's some, there some book that I, I but I, can, I always forget what it is, that um, was optioned to be a movie before the book released, and, like, someone picked it up, and Emma Watson is gonna be in it. And Elizabeth like the Banks is directing it. But what is it? I can't remember. And I kept thinking no, it was very like clean. Sorry, that was interrupting your oh. sentence. Elizabeth Banks, Epi Trinket, is going to be directing this one, Red Queen. Oh yeah, yeah, I looked it up. Who is Mo- Elizabeth Banks? I like Chloe. her I like the Pitch Perfect movies. She does a good do- job directing those. So yeah, that's this is exciting. Really, that's actually kind of cool. This movie. requires like this requires a special effects budget too. That's cool that it's like a female-led science. Like, cause this is science fiction fantasy. Like, I love that. Mm-hmm. That's cool. The former Dance Mom star. I don't understand this. Wait, what? <laughs> I I'm looking at I'm looking at the thing. Dance Mom's alum Chloe Lola has re her love for as, as she's she's gonna be mayor. Chloe something something who had something to do with Dance Moms. I don't I don't know how it all works. I didn't really watch Dance Moms, but so apparently this is a real thing. But now I'm trying to figure out what the book was that Emma Watson is going to be in that was signed for a movie before the book even released because that's got to be that one. Book. Is it the one where they um they they have different dares and they make money off of it? No, no, that already came out. That's it Emma. Did? It's, gonna do it. it's already out. Shoot me now. All right. I can't. Since, since the book discussion part of this has disintegrated, <laughs> I'm going to call it. So, in conclusion, I would say I might read the second book. I might. It seems like it would be a good... I'm actually... I would be more likely to listen to it if there's the same narrator because she was really, really good. Um, but I might read the second book, and then I would consider reading the third depending on how that goes. But it was definitely not my favorite teenage dystopia and not my favorite of our picks. But I think it's got, like, I'm glad I read it because I'll totally book talk this to people because it's totally the jam of, like, a lot of teenagers that I know. So. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Book club starts Who's, in two weeks. Who's our next Who's, who's oh. our next book pick? Either, I think it's Kim or Mylene. I think it's Kim. Kim usually does the fall, the first fall one, and then Mylene does the one after that, right? Oh, I should think about this. <laughs> That's okay. That'll give me time to get my act together. So, yeah, like, you, take your time <laughs> picking a book, and then I will panic about reading it and be late. I'll look at the pages because I got stuff to And do that also gives too. me that. So, this is our last one on Google Hangout because Google Hangout is abandoning us yeah, like a monster. So Tears. So, we'll also have to figure out how to do this in yeah. different technology, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> <laughs> so. We could go to Facebook Live. No, do we want to live you, this on Facebook? Like, can not, you do not multiple live. feeds on that, though? More this than one person? An awful convo. Okay. Oh, maybe Goodbye, not. Goodbye, okay. friends. Mm-hmm. Ah.